tonight. Outside the pretend window. You think it's on the jelly, he'll squash it. Oh, hello, Gibbo. I didn't even see you there. There's some people do that. Sit at home Saturday night. Oh, this night. one's open, it's okay. Oh, all right. So is this one. It can't open like that. Problem with that one up there. All right. So I'll come round. Uh, uh, uh. But people do that Saturday night, you know. They sit back there and with their chickies. Yeah. Hello, would you like a lolly gobble bisp bomb? Yes, thank you. I have to think about that mm. one. Would you like one? Yeah, I would, but I it's can't beautiful. swallow. I don't have a throat. So oh. fresh, oh, so you. tasty. Yeah, they are really, really yummy. Don't too. they? They're called bombs because they really explode like a little piece of flavour in your mouth. Isn't yeah, that they right? do. Little Euro rat hole down your esophagus. That's enough, thank you. No, we've got a good quite... show lined up. We've got our competition. We've got Ranger Stacey and we've got UFO, which is about to happen very, very soon. You're right there, Agro. You're getting a bit sick doing that. Yeah. Hey, right, Gibbo, did you have a good Easter last week? I had a fantastic Easter. I'm just going to do some, show you some fun things you can do with all your this ones. Okay. Like you can pretend you've got sores. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Fool your friends. <laughs> Scare mum. But, but make sure you tell her it's only a joke after a few minutes, okay? <laughs> hey, hey Gibbo. And moving right along, you right there, Agro. I think, uh, Gibbo, I think something quick. Would you mind giving me a hand? I might have to give him mouth to mouth. Oh, what? I'm okay now. Oh, <laughs> look at it, don't go too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well listen, we're off to see the first part of UFO. Now, I'm not sure whether this is the first part no, 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 of no. last week's first no, part of no. the seventh part of the night. I'm not going to see UFO yet. Oh, aren't we? Mm -mm. Yeah, we But going. I can't ever work out because we no. play the first part of the second half that was played three weeks ago. No, no, two weeks ago. Oh, two weeks ago. I can, yeah. never, I can never work out whether this is the first commercial break or the second commercial break, whichever, it's a commercial break. Oh, oh so there's no even UFO. Oh, there's no UFO. No. That's what it was. Oh, there isn't. We're no, it's on. a break, not UFO. Jesse and Becky learn the real meaning of parenthood. Life as we knew it is no more. And crunch time for Michelle. Burning rubber. Yeah. Popping wheelies. Yeah. It's lesson number one. Holy cow! It could end up a last. Hey! Then Earl's greatest challenge. A female tree pusher? Will he be a traitor to his buddies? I'd be a laughing stock. You're a laughing stock. Just as I predicted. Full House and Dinosaurs. 7.30 tonight on 7. Be at Calder Park Thunderdome this Sunday for the grand finals of the NASCAR and Oscar National Championships. See American Aces Rodney Combs and JJ Fuller wheel to wheel against Alan Grice, O'Brien Best, Jones Dumsney and all the awesome Aussies in the Drink Drive Classic. There's Holden versus Ford at 300 clicks in the Yellow Terra Oscar Final. See Jones, Harrington, Brewer, Seaton and a big support card. Wild? You'd better believe it. And only at Calder Park Thunderdome. Grand final day this Sunday from 10 o'clock. Be there. David's teaching me how to use my Mother's Day gift, a Moulinex chrome glider. He says it glides beautifully over all our clothes. And he's right. What a teacher. Show me again, David. Moulinex, Europe's number one. Available at these stores. It's nearly bedtime, so how about a hot chocolate made with pure, fresh milk? Hot from your microwave. Now that's a nightcap. Pure, fresh milk. Good night. There are plenty of towns in the bush, and still more set by the sea. 
But I've been around and there's one kind of town that stands way out in front to me. Because there's something inside that they just can't hide. Some call it old-fashioned, but I call it pride. Pride you can see when you look around an Australian tidy town. Everyone's a winner when you join the Australian Tidy Towns team. Contact Keep Australia Beautiful. Save one-third off the cost of bathroom wear. Marble Effect has cut one-third off the cost of all floor stocks of spa baths, a third off spa pools, a third off shower cubicles, a third off shaving cabinets, a third off taps, a third off kitchen sinks, a third off baths, and one-third off our entire range of vanity units. With a giant one-third off, it's cash or credit cards only. No checks, and only for four days. This Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. One-third off at Marble Effect. All one-third off items must be removed from Marble Effect within 48 hours. Super Sunday Show, the Super Sunday Show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Amazing yeah. Wildlife segment Whoops. with Ranger and, Stacey. And the Amazing Animals. Here That's we go. That's right. Look at these. On these a are... cold and grey Chicago mall. Here we go. Come on. Actually, he um, might. I think um, what he wants, these are actually leaf tail geckos. In Ranger Stacey's lizard was born. It's a, it's a gecko. It's a gecko. It's a gecko. It's a leaf tail gecko. And he's probably he's trying to... He's about to take to off, Stace. Hang on. We tried to tell you. See, I thought maybe he... Look, I thought he was going to try and blend into Gibbo's um, Oh, overalls. big chance he'd probably have a fit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get lost. But it's probably... No, he's probably found that he can't actually do that because um, he really needs to blend into something like um, a rock or a log or something. This one is so fast, I'll just yeah. take him out of the bag. Put him back in the nice bag then, because I'm scared you're going to lose him. Gonna, okay. He's going to go back to the museum. And another thing is, that's right, I've got to take... Oh, I just did a Mickey flip. I have to take him back to the museum, but the thing is, see this beautiful um, leaf tail here? Yes. If, see, they can actually drop their tail if they get too stressed out. That's right. Well, and, put him in the bag then. Oh, <laughs> Okay, Agnes. You're worried, aren't you? You're worried. See, if he loses his tail, um, it does grow back, but it's I never the same. I think I just about to lose my <laughs> pushed into it, okay? <laughs> but it's, see, well, there's the, another one. The second tail, I'll put this one back, because you're worried, a little bit worried about him. Because, now, have a look at this one, actually. This is the rainforest species. The other one comes from, like, a rocky area, and he blends in really well. Because he's got that granite colour on it. Yes, th but this one actually lives in rainforest. See, he's greeny colour, yeah. and he fits in really well. He can actually sit on the... the um, trunk of a tree and yeah. people don't often see him because he... But that, that bright pink colouring and those keys would really stand out against the tree, wouldn't it? Is this, it's, well, is this part of his natural camouflage? <laughs> no, it's not. Look, this is him here, Gibbo. There we go. And actually, he's really good at gripping as well. He's got little tiny fingernails, little claws, and look, he can sort of hang off like that. Oh, wow. So that's it's pretty good. He can... Thank you. <laughs> he can Did hang he know up he was going to do that upside today? down. He's, I mean, they're used to it. It's not being cool or anything. You've got to be careful with that super glue stuff, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's, he's got little um, sort of uh, sticky fingers. Sticky really. fingers. It's like after you eat the lollygobble bliss bloms. Yes. Oh. See, now you say bliss bloms too. <laughs> I can't say it. Lollygobble bliss bloms. Anne Marie's got that problem. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, he's just got that really good way of um, holding Look on and gripping that. onto things. But the, the most spectacular thing is, of course, the tail. The, the, why, why do they have a tail like this? It's <laughs> it's just so that they look, uh, they blend in really well. And see how it's got the uh, jagged edge around yeah. there? Um, it's just to break up the outline so he blends into things better. It's just all to do with their survival oh, right. strategies so, and everything. Yeah, yeah, right. And there's actually other types of geckos that are called the knob tail geckos. Right. And it just looks like a knob and it's very hard to tell. Well, same with these, it's very hard to tell the, the head from the, head the tail. Ah, oh, that's probably it. And get confused. That's you know? probably it. Yeah. So, um, you know, something People say the same down. thing about me. <laughs> Face and the, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. 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 Well, so say a bird or something tried, you know, tried to eat him. Yeah. They might accidentally go for the tail rather than the head, and so he can just drop his tail yeah. and run away, and then just grow another tail. Show us how, Stace. Oh no, no, no. Shake it about a bit. He can't trick me. No way. No. This is really? a, this is beautiful because <laughs> because um. You know, they will grow a tail back and it doesn't really hurt when they drop them. You know, like other lizards, two little skips and things sometimes drop their tail. Yes, that's and, right. And the tail wiggles around. But it doesn't but, fool um, the cats, because I've no. seen cats, they just go, that's a tail. Yeah, well, cats, are pretty, bit. cats are pretty cluey. But, uh, but yeah, so they... are uh, a beautiful creature. That's quite a remarkable uh, situation, isn't it, how they can actually regenerate the tail, because it's extremely too. complex. That's right. And is it a prehensile too. tail? No, it's no, not. That's like that word. No, that's a good word. That's a good, you like that word, don't you? It's a good word, yeah. Yes. But um, have a look at his eyes. Even his eyes are well cam camouflaged. See how the, they look like cracked marbles? Oh, that's his tail, isn't it? No, that's, no, that's his head. Oh, gee. There's, there's his eye right there. I would have sworn Boy, you yeah. wouldn't have known, would you? That's right. That's incredible. It's amazing. No, it is really. It, it tricks a lot of people. He's probably got Zackley's disease. Yeah. What's that? 
His head looks like his tail. Oh, exactly, exactly like, like his tail. tail. Oh. <laughs> you little trickers, you. <laughs> Boy, fitted that one in. <laughs> but no, he's a beautiful creature, and it's and you know as I was saying before, not a lot of people actually get to see them because oh, yeah. he's got a hold on me. But because um, they do blend in so well, this one is a rainforest, and, and it even looks like you know how lichen grows on. <laughs> I think we've gone back to the start again. Oh. No, I'm sorry, no, no, I was just saying, you started saying that he was a rainforest. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. oh, it looks like lichen. That's right, yeah, it does too. that's what I was saying. Oh, look, the lordy. Look at that. You're able to strike me fat. Oh, it works. But look, it, it's true. Yes, it is. He does. And that's, that's the whole survival strategy oh. is to blend in. Yep. How long to go on this segment? This is getting boring. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is great. Now, 30 this, seconds. Where's this from? Oh, oh hang on. Um, this is the rainforest one, is it? This is okay, we're going to throw it close up in the bracket. There's up, lots go. and lots of different types of geckos, and um, you know they're all over Australia. But this one is actually only found in eastern Queen, southeast Queensland. Right, and they and can drop their tails, I believe. Yeah, they can. <laughs> You're kidding? They can drop they their can. tails. They're amazing little creatures, and they can hang upside down. Do you know what I've noticed? <laughs> what? what? Their head looks exactly like their tail. Ah, that's Zachary's disease, isn't Look. it? Look. Yes, it is. It's exactly. Is. Oh, I don't know. And put him back on the put him back in the skateboard. Okay, let's let's. He wants to drive. Home. Okay. Yeah, I thought so you were gonna have to give him a flick across the studio. We just, then. we just he won't get off. <laughs> we just want to make sure he doesn't. But is he on there yet? Oh, he wasn't on. Oh dear. The okay. Other one was no, he's okay. It was all right. He's all right. Look, he's gonna hold on to me. Okay, clap he's hands. Ready? Clap hands till Daddy comes home. <laughs> no. Where's my full of plums? Oh. Okay, I think we should go and see something. That's right, we might see some rather weird creatures on UFO. Yes, some spacey okay. alien type ones too. You never know. You never know. Thanks, Ranger Stacey. That's Guess okay. what? They can, can drop, they drop their, their tails. tails? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they can. The UFOs disappeared. I'll keep all ground radar on red alert. Sir. Is this the lunar module? Yes, sir. I'll feel a lot happier when it's landed. EER is 21 minutes. Rendezvous four minutes, 18 seconds later. Fine. This is Space Intruder Detector. Red alert. UFO 428, 146, green. Trajectory 0427 over 5, decimal 4. Anything? Nothing. I picked it up again, Lieutenant. Course. 072124. Speed. Sol 0.4. Check. Confirm. Moonbase to shadow control. Come in, Moonbase. Confirm sighting in area T decimal 6 green. Moving towards area yellow at Sol 4 decimal 0. Your sightings are masked from us by the moon. We'll pick it up in T6 yellow. Out. Check the estimated re-entry time on the module. Yes, sir. This is Shadow Control. Relay your re-entry time and angle. Re-entry begins in seven minutes. Angle 27 decimal five. On a three-second burn. Thank you, Captain. The checks. Thank you. The UFOs altered course five degrees. The interceptors won't make contact. It could reach the lunar module before re-entry, sir. Yes, 